Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be teaching you about how to become a data engineer and why data engineering is one of the most promising career of 2021. Let's first understand what is the role of data engineer. The data engineering role varies across different companies. I found this amazing article which describes the data engineering role into three different parts. The first type of data engineers are all about data warehouse, analytics and dashboard building. Their goals are centered around transforming business logics into some value. The second type of data engineers are all about building pipelines using tools like Airflow and using programming languages such as Python. And the last type of data engineers are about distributed system, open source frameworks such as Hadoop and Spark. Now these three categories can overlap each other. You might be working on a cloud platform where you are pulling data from relational database and putting that data onto data warehouse to visualize data from the dashboard. Your work completely depends on your role. If you are working on a large company and let's say you are a part of a data pipeline team, then your role will require you to know tools such as Airflow to build the data pipeline. But let's say if you are working in a startup company, then you will have to do everything by yourself from building data pipeline to visualization. So your role completely depends on the company you are working in and it can change organization to organization. You can jump to the skills required by data engineers by clicking on the timestamp. But let's first understand why data engineering is one of the most promising career of 2021. According to 2021 data science interview report by interviewquery.com that takes over 10,000 data science interview experiences, data science interview grew by 10% compared to data engineering which grew by 40% in 2021. The demand for data engineers, according to DICE 2020 report, data engineering is the fastest growing job in 2019, growing by 50% yearly. As the internet is generating more and more data, we need people who can help in managing those data. Thus, data engineers, data scientists and analysts come into the picture. Now let's talk about the skills required to become a data engineer. Number one is learning programming language. Top three programming languages used by data engineers are Python, Java, and Scala. As I mentioned earlier, the data engineering role will require you to create pipelines and transform data. This can be done by using any tool or writing code. Many companies will ask you some programming questions in the interview. So it is really important that you master one programming language. And in my opinion, if you are new, then pick up Python because it is easy to learn. And nowadays, many companies are shifting to Python. With the programming language, you will also need to learn basic data structures. The second important skill I want to talk about is learning SQL or SQL, the structured query language. Being a data engineer, you will be dealing with a lots of data and SQL is how you communicate with the databases. SQL is one of the most important skill for the data engineers because the goal of the data is to create value for the business. Using SQL, you can pull required data by applying business logic on top of it and visualize it so business people can keep track of how things are performing. I will list out some of the resources below to learn SQL in the description. Third is learning about the fundamentals of big data and open source system. Fundamental includes understanding how data is stored and used in the system. It includes learning different types of data such as structured, unstructured and semi-structured. Learning different types of file formats such as JSON, Avro, ORC, etc. Then there are some frameworks such as Hadoop and Apache Spark that are used to process large amount of data. Then understanding the difference between OLAP which is Online Analytical Processing and OLTP which is Online Transaction Processing. How to build data models. And the last working with SQL and NoSQL databases. Number fourth is Visualization Tool. As I mentioned earlier, the goal of any data person is to extract value from the data and help business to improve its day-to-day -day life cycle. And one of the best ways to understand data is by converting numbers into some visual form, by making graph and chart to tell the story. There are different types of visualization tools that are available in the market, Quicksight, Looker, Tableau, Data Studio, etc. Ability to convert data into proper story and extracting value out of it is one of the most important skill for data engineers. And it is really important that you learn at least one visualization tool. The number fifth in the list is learning about cloud platforms such as AWS, GCP or Azure. These days, many companies are moving from on-premise data centers to cloud networks because managing server is really difficult and comes with a lot of cost. 
when we talk about big data we need large servers which can process huge amount of data and this can be achieved using cloud services amazon web service google cloud platform and microsoft azure are the top 3 cloud providers available in the market you can pick any provider and start learning about it my recommendation is to start with aws because it has highest market segment now these are some of the advanced level skills you can learn such as processing streaming data using kafka and learning etl tools such as informatica and altrix but they are not really important for entry level job in the next video i will show you how you can become a data engineer step by step if you like this video then please share it with your friends if you learn something new then please subscribe i have a plans to upload lot of things related to data engineering machine learning and data science so please let me know in the comments what do you think about this and see you in the next video thank you